You address how we have been fed by the shopkeepers, all the wrong concepts. Now the I is heard that I has accepted to all the wrong concepts as the right. Now it want to know how to experience even the witness, although the witness has no I in it. Huh. The reason is that the ego thinks too much of itself. Right? You said the ego is hurt that it has been fed all the fake stuff by the greedy and uh, obnoxious shopkeepers. Hmm? The ego is saying how did it exactly happen that somebody as wise as me got fooled? The ego thinks too much of itself. Had the ego had any sense, it would have said, it is but obvious that I am going to be fooled by all and sundry. A fool does not even need to be made a fool. I do not need anybody to make a fool of me. I am a fool because I am the ego. But the ego will not admit that. The ego will say, no, no, no. You see, actually I am very wise. Some strange accident happened this time that the deceptive shopkeepers got the better of me. Next time, the shopkeepers won't succeed. I'll pay them back in their currency. They fought me off this time. Next time I'll turn the tables on them. Does the ego have any rights to get hurt? It's your mathematics paper. You do not prepare the entire year. You do not even have the intention to prepare. And then the paper is there, you do not write anything and you know very well that you haven't written anything. And when the results are declared and your marks are purely in binaries, then you put up a huge song and a dance announcing how deeply hurt you are. Would that be any help? By binary marks I mean 0 out of 100. Dealing only in zeros and ones. One has a right to be hurt only when one duly deserves something. I deserved something, I did not get it. Then I can say, oh, I am so hurt. I have been shortchanged. Hmm? The world has not been fair with me. But if I get exactly what I deserve, and I still act as if I have been given an unfair deal. And then I am just trying to still cheat someone. Hmm? So first of all the ego has no right to be hurt. And the funny thing is only the ego gets hurt. The truth is the only deserving one and the truth has all the rights to get hurt but the truth never gets hurt. The ego does not deserve anything and therefore has no right to get hurt but the ego keeps getting hurt. Similarly, is the, there is the case of the ego aspiring to be the witness or know the witness and when it does not succeed, 
it again feels disappointed and cribs and complains and puts on a long face. Look at the feeling once again. If not me, who else had the rights to know the witness? The witness, after all, what big shakes is he? What's the big deal this witness? What great shakes? The witness, after all, does not do anything, right? Lazy fellow. Just keeps watching. I am the ego. I am the doer. Actually, I am higher than the witness. I deserve to not only know the witness, but actually conquer and dominate him. But look here, all the scriptures and all the teachers have been saying that the ego cannot know the witness. This is, I tell you, patently unfair. This entire world of spirituality, the gurus, the scriptures, and I think God himself is quite envious of me, the ego. I deserve to be God, you see, and I'm quite hurt that I am not God. This little thing, this witness, first of all, the fellow is patently incapable of any action. Never has he moved even a little stick from here to there. His entire definition is that the, he just keeps lazing around doing nothing. And here I am, the ego, the mover and shaker of the world. Don't you know I am the engine of the world? I move the world. If the ego is not there, then 99.999% people will not work at all. At least not in the way they currently do. So I am the one who really runs the world. And here, has it come to this that I am being told that I can't even know that silly witness? Doomsday. The ego has a lot more to say. You want me to continue? The ego is an unending monologue. As neurotic as it gets. Keeps talking, keeps talking, keeps talking and has no ears to listen. It's not that the ego is without any value. It offers great entertainment value. If you want to be humored, go and watch the ego. And if you can really watch, you run the risk of dying of laughter. Thank you.